Welcome to Proud Masculine Video. And today, due to recent conversations with clients, and this is something that has come up, and it's pretty well known that this is something that plagues most men when it comes to approaching a woman you're attracted to. Today's topic is approach anxiety. Before we get started, can I ask you to please hit like and subscribe below. So, I mean, let's face it. You at an event, a club, bar, wherever you could be at the grocery store, and you see, you know, an attractive woman. You think she's hot, and you want to go talk to her. Ultimately, the interaction you wanted to lead to sex, right? I mean, isn't that the end game? Of course. So now that we got that established, let's jump in. So uh, first, the fear of rejection. And that is the underlying sentiment behind approach anxiety is that fear of being rejected. That you're going to approach this woman and be rejected. And that's okay. You know, as time passes and you do this more and more and more, you're going to become comfortable with rejection. And what you're also going to learn is not to make that rejection about you. Because we all know, you know, it can be... A woman can be at a certain place, like at a club or a bar, just to have fun with her friends and may not be interested in meeting somebody. And if she's not, if she doesn't have a high level of attraction towards you, you're not going to get much of her attention. And then she could have had a bad day. You know, she could have stress at home. Like, you just never know. And sometimes it's just not her type. I mean, it's that simple. And that's okay. And you'll start seeing rejection as a positive early on. So you'll know, you know, way ahead of time because you do have women that will let you talk and converse and entertain for a certain amount of time with no intention of giving you anything past that interaction, which is just basically you giving her attention and validation. She may even get a free drink out of it. You know, if she sits there and entertains you long enough. So you'll be grateful for the rejection and the more you do it the more you're going to become more familiar with the behaviors of a time waster and you can kind of pick that stuff out you know in the very beginning of the interaction so I took some notes here as i tend to get off course a bit especially with all the aspects pertaining to approach anxieties just to keep us on course here so uh first is frame the interaction frame the interaction in your head that this is something you're doing for fun this is something you're doing simply because you want to the only person you're looking to please in this interaction is yourself and so what that requires is you having a good feeling about it that you're going to do it because you want to because you want to have fun with no attachments to an outcome so if she says yes it's great. She says, no, it's great. You bid her a good night, enjoy your night, and move on. And not only, not only does that help you in the long run, it helps you in the moment in that interaction. It, may, it relaxes you because you have no expectations. Your only expectation is you're going to enjoy doing this. And that takes a, a lot of the edge off. And then... So there's other things you can do, you know, before you even begin the interaction to see if you are going to approach it. Now, ultimately, if you want to, if she's someone that you're attracted to and you want to go give it a shot, then go. It's that simple. But I mean, there are other things that you can read, you know, uh, her body language, you know, IOIs, the buying signals, uh, choosing signal or buying temperature. And that's just something you, you're going to learn over time. And uh, we can get into that in other videos, body language and IOIs and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so if you're on the other side of the room or the bar, wherever, and you catch eyes and you notice she looks at you, then like looks down submissively and looks back up. Or if she holds, uh, locks eye contact, and you hold it and she looks away looks back up and catches back eyes with you and that's a pretty good 
indicator that she's giving you a green light to say, yes, come talk. Uh, and you can also notice as you're approaching what her body language is doing. You know, she's looking at you walking up and she has this look and then looks like down to the left and then looks up and around and, and avoids making eye contact with you. That's probably her not being interested. Like I said before, ultimately, if you want to do it, go for it. Who cares? You're having fun. Um, like if, if you're on your way to approach and you know she's sitting you know side with a side view and then she turns and offers you her body openly and you know, that's a pretty good sign that she's interested and that's just a few things we can get into that in another video but it's important that when you go in and you've already framed this interaction as being a positive fun interaction that you go in with a relaxed confidence that is very attractive to a woman someone who's nervous and unsure and fidgety and all hunched up and tight body language that's very unattractive and she is going to be able to see that shit a mile away and the closer you get the more she's going to pick up on it so it's really important that you stay relaxed and confident about the interaction remember you're confident because there's no outcome that's a bad outcome for you you really don't care the only thing you worry about is having a good time having fun and so with that in mind, you're going to be more relaxed. You're going to be more confident. And, you know, so when you make your way to her and you finally, you know, arrived in front of her and you're in her space, uh, it's important that you don't just start offering up generic compliments. You know, the cheesy pickup stuff or, you know, some lame ass you know, fake compliment because she's going to test your authenticity and she's going to know you're faking. And it comes across as desperate and weak, not attractive at all. So, <clears throat> but if you are relaxed and confident and there's something that sticks out that you really like that caught your eye, let her know. If you think she looks amazing in that dress, tell her she looks amazing in the dress. Say it with confidence, say it with conviction, and just make sure it's authentic. If you're new to approaching, I'd veer away from the compliments for right now. Um, the important thing is don't just offer up generic compliments because that's an immediate turn off. So, uh, so then you're going to make a, a conversation, a light conversation. You know, it can be about the room, it can be about the atmosphere, anything. Anything will do at this point as long as it's comfortable for you. Once you come in, you're not going to stay in long. Now, if you happen to hit it off and you're doing well, you know, and uh, she's reciprocating conversation, if you're asking her, like, hey, where are you from? She says, oh, I'm from such and such a place. Oh, really? I, you like it there? Yeah, I love it. I, I do this, I do this, I went to school here, I grew up. And she's being very detailed in her descriptions and showing interest, and she's asking you questions. Make it last a little longer. Or... You can set a date right there on the spot. You know, tell her you'd be interested in seeing it because you know you're going to be with your friend. She's going to be with her friends. Well, you're just going to have something to do, typically, and you're not going to drop everything you're doing just to please this person in the moment. But you can set a date right in the moment. Tell her you're interested in seeing her again. Find uh, an exact date, time, and place, and set the date. You get a number, have a good night, and go on about your night. If not, what you're going to do now is go in for a number close. You just get her number and get back to her and set a date then. What you don't want to do is linger too long and like wear it out on the first night. And especially in a barroom or a club atmosphere, you're not going to be able to sit there and have a good conversation. Like you can't hear good. I mean, it is good for keynote. If you get to lean in, you maybe get to touch a little bit, initiate some touch. But ultimately, that's not a good atmosphere for having uh, building any type of connection or seduction. Because essentially, the whole process is seduction. And the, you start with the approach and then the initial meet. And then if you're in an atmosphere not conducive 
to being able to escalate, which a club typically is not the place. It's just too loud, too many people, she's with her friends, or distractions. It's really not worth it. And uh, your chances are you're going to do much better if you just get her number, go on about your night, let her see you're having a good time, let her have her good time, and then get back with her a couple days later. And at that time, you set a definite date, time, and place. Then you can continue the escalation and seduction. So, so at that point, if it's going, if you're not going to set the date, then get the number and move along. Move along with your night. So remember, start with framing the interaction. This is something fun that I want to do. I want to meet this person, but it's okay if if she says no. It's okay if I don't get any interest. It's okay if she rejects me. It's okay. I'm still having fun. Second, move in with a relaxed confidence. Watch for choosing signals. Watch for IOIs. But ultimately, if you want to do it, go through with it. Then just maintain, you know, a relaxed confidence, moving in for the approach. Make a quick introduction, a short conversation, get the number, and get out. And in the following videos, we'll follow up more on indicators of interest, body language, what to say, how to say it, and whatnot. So tonight we'll end this video here. Also, to book a coaching session or to talk, you can go to my website, proudmasculine.com. The, the first, the initial uh, visit is a 30-minute free consultation. And you just go to pricing and plans, uh, select the option of what you want, schedule on a calendar, and I'll get back to you. Remember, this is about you having fun so don't take it so seriously and don't take yourself so seriously it's it's not a, it's about enjoying yourself and having a great time and that ultimately is going to help you in this situation because you're going to be relaxed and she's going to be feeding off of your energy and the way you show up and that's only going to improve your chances if she senses hesitation or insecurity or uncertainty it's really going to hinder your chances to have anything successful moving forward. So relax, have fun, make a game out of it. And remember, any outcome is a good outcome. It doesn't matter. So with that, and if the, remember, like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to just comment on this video topic if there's anything you're dealing with or anything you're struggling with that you'd like to hear more about. Please leave in the comments and I'll address it in the upcoming videos. Have a great day.